pumpkin. And I'm using some patties that are frozen in the, in the freezer just to get rid of them because they've been in there for a little while. Make sure I get a good angle here. Got the uh, skillet warming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in here and cook these. Get that, uh, that browning on the bottom of the pan going. Let's turn the heat down a little bit. Have the pan a little warm. Didn't take long for this to cook. I got my handy dandy smasher. Love this tool. I don't want to get the uh, sausage too. Crumbly. I like to have some big chunks in there. I'm leave it right about there. Let that cook. And after the uh, sausage is done cooking, you get some nice browning on the bottom of the pan. After the sausage is done cooking, I'm going to take it out. Put it in here to make the roux. You don't want the sausage in the pan when you're making the roux. Just want to get all those fine round chunks in the bottom of the pan while we're cooking. That help out with the browning on the roux. And the flavor, bring that richness into the uh, into the gravy. From those chunks that stick to the bottom of the pan. Once we make the roux, all those chunks will be lifted from the bottom of the pan and they'll go into the gravy. Don't want to take this sausage out too early. You want it to cook quite a bit so it gets a crust on the bottom and on the sausage itself. And when you take the sausage out of here and you put it in the bowl, you'll still have crust on the sausage in the bowl when you put it back into the uh, gravy after the roux is made. That helps deepen the flavor of the gravy. Patience is key here. You want to cook. I turn the heat back up a little bit. I like to use a nice thick, thick bottom pan to pull the heat in. The lens is getting fogged up here now. Yeah, looks like it's doing all right. Okay, sausage is starting to look like it's getting cooked pretty good. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and tip this pan up. My, uh, my spoon holder, tip the pan up to let any sausage grease to run to this side of the pan to retain it for the roux. We're going to use this grease to make the roux with. And there's not going to be enough grease, so we'll have to supplement it with some butter. Now, when we go to make the roux, Pretty amazing process. The uh, I'm going to add raw flour to the uh, to the pan, and it's going to mix with the grease. But there probably won't be enough grease to to wet the all the flour good enough. So then we'll add the butter to finish wetting the flour, and then what's going to happen is is the uh, 
the flour is going to actually cook in the, in the grease and the butter and it's going to brown inside the grease and the butter as if it was like baking in the oven as a biscuit or whatever. And then we're going to add the milk and that's going to churn, instantly churn that, uh, that roux into the, uh, into the gravy. And it's one of these things where you might think you want to add the, uh, the milk slowly like you're making a gravy, but not when you're doing sausage gravy. You get the roux. I'm gonna take the. I'm taking the uh, sausage out of here now. I'm gonna leave some of the chunks in there. But uh, when you uh, when you're making the roux and you're adding the the milk, you want to add it all at once. You don't want to add it in slowly because that'll uh, it'll make it harder to figure out if you're gravy is getting thick enough or not. You add it all at once and then it will it'll loosen up pretty quickly. You'll see here once we once we get to that step. So I'm not trying to take out all the chunks. I'm gonna leave all this these chunks down the side here. Here I'm gonna leave the rest of this in there. Got the gray or got the sausage out. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna set this back down. Now we're popping. Now it's now it's show time. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chunk off a piece of this butter. Let it start melting. This is gonna happen pretty fast here. Once I add the add the flour. go. I'm going to add about three quarter cup. Okay, right to the butter, right to the fat. And we want this all to loosen up in the fat and the butter. And you see it's, it's drying out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some more butter. Get in here before it starts to burn. It doesn't take a whole lot of this butter to loosen this up. Once it starts loosening it up, loosening up, it happens really fast. So you don't want it to get you don't want to get too much butter in there and make it too loose. It's almost like the, the flour will start to melt. A little bit more. That ought to do it. You can already see it's starting to it's starting to cook already. You see on the bottom of the pan it's starting to brown really dark so we gotta get ready with the uh, with the milk right now see how it's already already turning really brown okay I'm lifting the pan up off the uh, stove top to reduce the heat on the pan so it doesn't cook as fast because it's cooking really fast right now I'm not gonna change the heat yet once I add the milk it's gonna cool the pan down really fast okay so now you can see that butter turned this flour into almost a liquid. You want it to cook like that until it gets almost, almost burnt. You really want to cook it down. You really want it to get nice and deep brown. Adds a ton of flavor. I'm going to go ahead and add a little pepper to it right now. Let's get that pepper cooking in there. I'm going to lift the pan up to reduce the heat a little bit. All that brown on the bottom is going to end up deglazing into the gravy. I think we're just about there. I'm going to get the milk ready. Now here comes the magic. I'm going to let it cook for a little bit more. Get nice and dark. All that flour is cooking right in the grease and right in the butter. All right, I think we're about ready. So I'm going to add the milk all at once. I can add more milk here in a little bit if I want to. 
right now, we're just deglazing the bottom of the pan. Getting all the goodness off the bottom of the pan there. And once it thickens up, we'll taste test it. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat down. I'm lifting it up off the uh, off the stove top to reduce the heat. You can see it already starting to bubble really good. I'm kind of metering the heat with the proximity to the uh, burner with the pan. See, it's thickening up real good, real nice and thick. All right, the bottom is completely deglazed right now. You see all of the brown has gone off the bottom of the pan. I'm turning the heat down. <clears throat> Turn it down to low, actually. Pan up off the stove top because I don't want it to cook too, get too hot and burn. The stove top will cool off here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the sausage back. And voila! I'm gonna. I'm going to taste it and I'm going to salt and pepper it to taste and other than that, it's ready to go.